Yeah, good question. And it's one of the things I struggled with for years. Um, really had a kind of a uh, issue around my faith uh, around this whole idea of, of the workplace. Because I said to myself, you know, this is probably the mid-90s. I was down at RTS taking some classes down there. Um, and realized they didn't, get a, they didn't have a clue about work, you know, a workforce ministry or anything like that. Um, and really, there wasn't a lot being written about it. There wasn't a big movement then. Um, but I really asked myself, why does God not care about what I do from you know, 8 o'clock in the morning to 5 o'clock at night every day, five days a week, uh, sometimes longer? Um, why is there no connection there? And you know, I went to my pastor, talked to him about it. He said, well, you know, he, God just giving you the ability to make money so you can bring it to the church so we can do good things with it. I walked out thinking that that can't be right. There's got to be more to it than that. And so I start, started reading, started taking some classes at seminary. They were, they were useless. Although I admit, uh, at that seminary, I got introduced to some of the reformers like Calvin, Martin Luther. When Martin Luther says, the work of the milkmaid is just as important to God as the work of the priest, that was heresy in his day. It's still heresy in a lot of churches today if you say that. Um, and I really began to realize that the scripture talks a lot about work and that we had just not been told that. And, um, and it took me about, about four or five years working through these issues uh, and actually ended up doing my master's dissertation at RTS on faith and work. Uh, just, and, and really it's just kind of walking through the things I had to understand for this whole thing to make sense to me. Uh, so um, I think it's... Um, it's a huge problem still. Uh, we, we've done some research. That if we probably only 10% of evangelical Christians have any understanding at all but about the connection between their faith and their work. And yet, I would argue that work is why we're here. You know, God put us here to work. He says he put him in the garden to work it and take care of it. You know, the purpose of our existence on this planet is not to value, it's really not to evangelize. It's not to build churches, not to do all these things we think. It's the work. And I'm sure we'll talk more about that.